המיליארדר ריצ'רד בנסון ערך הגרלה בין המעוניינים לטוס בחללית שלו לחלל, ובין הזוכים הייתה קישה שחף שמתגוררת באי אנטיגואה שבקבוצת האיים הקריביים. בנסון הגיע לבשר לה על הזכייה הזאת. I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, uh, this was a surprise, I believe, this visitor uh, knocking on your door, huh? Yes, definitely. It was a big surprise. <laughs> I never thought that it would have actually happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tell me, what is this exactly, this desire to fly up, up to the sky? Well, it's actually always been... Well, it's always been a dream, yes, but a little bit more than just that, just an idea of expanding the mind, just being out there, knowing that there's something greater than our planet, greater than us, um, this great, vast space that's just big and beyond. So that it's in itself has always been a fascination for me. And just to have the opportunity to just go up there and to just see and explore in my own mind, in my own way, with my body, <laughs> mm. not in a dream, is like super, super fantastic. It's amazing. So I, I'm still computing like what all of this really means, but hopefully the answer will come. <laughs> Do you have any background of piloting, flying or whatever? No, I used to be a flight attendant um, a long time ago, and that was the closest I could get to being as high up in the atmosphere as I can. But um, no, I'm not a pilot. I've never had any um, such training in that industry. <laughs> and you already have your schedule for training to be ready for uh, taking off? The actual schedule, no, there's no schedule as yet for me for training, but discussions are being um, in the pipeline right now and ways that I can serve the community right now in, um, you know, like speaking to children and just like with these interviews and with learning, looking at a lot of videos and meeting the other astronauts and being in that whole community setting. Absolutely. Uh, tell me, do you know how long you're going to be uh, up there in orbit? Well, from looking at the videos and seeing when Richard Bradson went out and from my own research and knowing it should be between five, ten minutes, just being in orbit, the whole journey, probably like an hour. But it's just about just going up there, being so present, just looking and seeing what's there to see and coming back down with a great story and expansion, watching my mind to see how it developed and what changed, what shifted for me. Hmm. So I'm looking forward to that very much. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I envy you very much. Uh, talk to me about your uh, surname, which is, uh, I believe, very unusual in your end of the world, very usual here in Israel. Yes, because I'm married to um, a Jew, I'm married to an Israeli. So obviously I got his name. <laughs> so we live both together here in Antigua. Um, uh, maybe about 11 years ago was my first journey to Israel. Um, was there for probably like a year. And then we came back to Antigua. And from since then, every year or every other year, we've been coming back and visiting Israel. So Israel is home definitely for me. So two states that I call home is Antigua and Israel. Great. Uh, so after landing back uh, from orbit, please come over and uh, you share with us your experience. <laughs> That would be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you good luck and enjoy, and thank you very much for talking to us, Kisha. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, now we're going to go to...